five seconds remaining. <laughs> LGDs turn to bad. Radiant team back. <laughs> LGDs turn to bad. Radiant team back. LGDs turn to pick. Seconds remaining. Remaining. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Here we are, game number three now. Another break for you guys, but uh, we're back, and we got a game three again. The winner this week on the playoffs. The loser playing the loser finals later on. In fact, right after the series is the plan. Uh, they'll be playing against Echo Gaming. Best of three again. So. Breaky CPK, your caster, not only today, but really throughout these Chinese qualifiers. So Ten excited to be here. Remaining. Again, here we are later on into the, well, in my case, Five the morning, but <laughs> the evening for some of you, the afternoon, wherever you may be. Been an action filled day so far, but here we are, Gyrocopter. First pick, coming after LG. Nature's Prophet. So far, the response for VGJ Thunder, again, that's proven to be a pretty popular pick today, uh, specifically in the support role. It's all uh, DDC playing in the first series for VGJ Thunder. Take there and take, take that game as well as the series only, but on the other side, FY played the last Five game seconds remaining. for LGD, and granted, that was in a losing effort. You could still see the, the, the great idea of the hero, especially in that support role. Uh, freedom that he has to roam from one lane to the next, looking to help set up some kill. LGD's turn. To Not guaranteed it's going to be a support, but definitely with what we've seen so far today, would lean towards that. Thanking the second pick for VGJ Thunder. Strong follow up as well, just uh, a safe option here. 10 seconds remaining. Thunder. Now on LGD gaming side, Five yeah, and I, I still look remaining. back at the uh, at the Omni Knight is still available. Hasn't been the most popular though in this series. In fact, I don't think he's been banned or picked in this. Think that. Let me back at the first game. First game. Radiant team back. Oh, yeah, he was not put the first game either. So yeah, he has not been seen this series. Now, Dark Willow, we did see in game one of this series, was on the winning side in the case of LGD, actually. So, a Dark Willow today is very good. 4 0, in fact. He, Dark Willow, or she more so, is 3 0 in the hands of LGD, 1 0 in the hands of Echo Gaming. And actually, no, make that 5 0. <laughs> We've actually seen overall in the matches played today for these qualifiers. Um, BGJ Thunder, LGD, and Echo Gaming have all played LGD's it five games between them, back. and they've all won with the hero. So, I'm just saying that there might be something to that. The win percentage of the hero, pretty good. But uh, LGD Gaming will make sure to get her here. Second spot. I did like the idea of the first game synergy Ten with the puck specifically. Really Again, looking at back. the uh, break effect and, you know, good against certain heroes, One that the ones that want to run at you. So, terrorize and nice that counter tool uh to that so a very successful but uh don't argue because it's been so successful so far today down to lose 10 <laughs> seconds look at remaining that perspective so who knows lgd understandably five seconds the dark remaining. willow here and one port here back over to vgj thunder and again, with that second pick sanking, though, with how Nature's Profit has been run today, curiosity is getting to me of, are we going to see an offlane sanking, or is that just going to be our supporting cast right there? Will it actually be a Nature's Profit sanking support cast? We'll do something else with support, but... Now they're thinking of their fifth ban. They already took out the Kunkka. Very heavy for support bands one turn too. to ban. Not open. 
hear all that would have definitely gone very well with something. Whenever you have, uh, especially Ten teams in the Chinese region remaining. going at it, though, too, really teams uh, amongst one another in their own regions for that matter. Five seconds remaining. There, there is the meta built within. As I do my best to watch as much Dota as I can and, and see what's going on, but <laughs> only human after all. Uh, so the point is, I, I don't know specifically these Radiant two teams matched team up against hit. another. What kind of strategy they, they do against one another, what kind of heroes, and... You know, when we have bands like this, Kato, like the Pugna, for example, coming out for LGD game, that leads me to believe that's just as of very recent, or perhaps a month. Ten seconds remaining. They know each other better than... Five seconds remaining. Third pick for BGJ Thunder. And I already bit of extra used. Hopeful to get more information in terms of will that be where will the nature's profit from? LGD's turn to pick Omni Knight. There is the Omni Knight, so finally making an appearance here. Peace. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Gaming. Razor's band. I was going to say Razor's on the port, but they actually banned themselves. Makes me wonder if they were planning to get Omni Knight act. <laughs> up on that and figured, all right, we'll take it. Brewmaster is still there. And as we know, Chalice is obviously very comfortable with the hero. Um, Rubik also there. So there still is a, excuse me, a couple of decent Omni Knight counters. So for LG. Radiant team pick. I am not known as one of them, but boy, is that interesting. Now, <laughs> Io, Io, Gyro, ugh, Io Gyrocopter is quite the combination. Ten seconds remaining. Specifically, if you manage to get into a very Five long game, remaining. when Io is then attacking with his tethered teammate from the Talon. That with the flak cannon can get pretty damn crazy. Granted, that requires a lot of farming IO, and that's more of a pub style LGD's thing. LGD's turn to pick Wouldn't that Phantom be Assassin. But no, it's still a good part of Projector Copter no matter what, of course. Keep him alive. Phantom Assassin. Thunder, though. Hero that does pretty well against IO for that matter. Get on him and kill him quickly. Ten seconds remaining. Of course, they have Omni Knight remaining. to back up Phantom Assassin. Back over to LGD, needing probably their mid and even the, the off lane come um, still. You have to think maybe uh, potentially a Silver Edge carrier of choice. Viper, actually. Viper would be so-so here. The break effect would be nice against PA. He's not the tankiest against this team. Dragonite on the other hand. He Radiant team back. Underlord. Underlord's another tanky here. Understandably, they decide to go their off lane instead. Fourth pick. Ten 
has a firestorm counter push now. Pit of Mal's to help with lockdown. Phantom Assassins. VR is always going to be annoying. Also, just more magic damage. Go with the makeup so far. BGJ Thunder is lock is lacking the lockdown. Right? So their mid hero maybe want to go that direction. LGDs turn to ban. Ban tiny. Maybe a dragon eye for themselves wouldn't be bad here. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. What about like a Marana? LGD's turn to pick. I have a good setup with Sand King. I know Marana is not the most relevant hero right now, but. Trying to think options. Ideally, more of maybe a ranged core Ten that could bring remaining. some kind of lockdown. So, yeah. Five seconds remaining. Final ban OD. OD Radiant definitely fit that bill. This is. This is. All right. Change of pace here. So we have been seeing some core visage play recently. More and more. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Do you like the visit? Lena, choose your hero. There you go. There's some nice lockdown. Lena's been very popular recently, and Freeze actually played at both games earlier against Keen Gaming. Go with the Lena. Lena versus Visage matchup middle lane, most likely. Will this go work? Can Wisp stay alive? PA. King Lelina. <laughs> it's going to be a difficult game for Wisp to stay alive. No doubt. Look at these guys. Fire blades. Yeah, guys, because of a, a bit of delays here, we technically, the final series is supposed to start pretty much right now, so obviously See, we are waiting for this game number three to finish, though. As soon as this one finishes, my fingers hopefully will get right into the fun. But first, we need to find out which team will go gaming. And here we go. Will it be the rematch? LGD defeating Prepare Echo earlier two games to one, or... BGJ Thunder. You're running up here quickly. Gyro. Safe from the beginning. Thirty seconds to battle. So, 
Underlord is an attempt to pull the creep creep wave of death. Go back black coming in. Take this bounty rune. The battle begins. Uh, I can't fight though. Yeah, not against an extra profit. The flight's still level one. Meanwhile, top lane, Ami goes down actually. So much for being safe. Lena as well, Sand King coming together. The Omni Knight. I'll take your tribute. Then Io will make his way to the top lane. Sarah Cop already ported back in. Yeah, no creep pull to be had now. We got the Sand King Omni Knight lane being pretty aggressive. However, they have to deal with an Io. Not easy with the Dark Will. The Bramble Maze catches Sand King and they get the turn kill actually. The response for LGD. Some um, bottom initially. He happened to TP. So, good rotation on his part. Quick one to one game. But Sand King. That death, he's. Oh no, he is running back to top lane. I mean, nice being zoned out completely. Yeah, the Io Dark Willow. Doesn't seem like the Radiant team have much of a chance up here. Be using two supports, so Sand King. Wondering if you may be thinking about going to the middle lane perhaps, or right now freezes. Doing some good damage to. Will break. -uh. Dang, putting up the repel to avoid the homing missile. Man, this is slow once again, but Freeze is fairly low himself, too. So. That second point in the grave chill. Up in the salve, so feeling good again. Two minute bounty rune. I will pick it up. Bottle it up, even. Better value. Go get the other one, it looks like. Yeah, at this point, really zoning out the Sand King, not letting him get any experience right now. Simply wants his boots. Thunderlord bottom lane. And doing some pull. DDC doing his best to prevent the pull. <laughs> Gonna block in the pull, and not gonna be enough, though. Right. Top lane, yay. Purification's ready. Bramble Maze, though. The BDC ports in with the double damage rune. Oh my god, they just explode Io. <laughs> Between the purification and the auto attack. Melted hand, so turn for Vichy J Thunder. Middle lane, meanwhile, Zond is one out of attack away from death. He goes down, Grape Chill. He gets it off at least on lane of a four, but it doesn't matter. Oh, not before he can do. Assist. Now looking at that 3 to 1 start in favor of the Radiant side. Meanwhile, Phantom Assassin's having a very good time bottom lane. 22 and 11. Base boots on the way, and then again, the ultimate question is does he go to Battle Fury? Radiant structures are fortified. Be something different. Grounds up, nice repel though, Yang. Purification in the mid. Oh, several heroes, that blind deals the damage. Could have been on the time being. Ame, rock barrage in the face of DDC. Has that black game now, but he's gonna kill. Oh, Tether's back in, but he Tether's into death. Got a little bit too close for comfort, however. Double kill already kicked in for Ame. And he wants to make a hat trick, actually. Gonna run after Yang, but not enough, so. Yeah, I almost sacrificing himself, but just to make sure to keep Ame alive as Nature's Prophet gonna TP to the middle. Now Io's here though with Somnus. And Freeze turning his attention to the Io. Gonna miss with the LSA though. Somnus, Grave Chill's up. At that sole assumption. However, Io is picked off and now Freeze running pops us out. Oh, he's good for now. Somnus cannot run up to him. Gonna be cut off though by X Nova. Was down the brown. 
maze. Freeze will manage to avoid it, though, but the Grave Chill again, allowing him to run at him pretty efficiently. But I don't think Samus is going to get this kill. Yeah, right now that uh, that sole assumption is not going to be the most damage, and Freeze will just keep running, and the Visage doesn't want to waste too much time. Good getaway. Can Io with the right idea, but it's third death already. Top lane, Ame is in trouble again, but managed to live with the use of the magic punt. Back. His first item choice for the figure item. Base boots. Vistage going as home of the Dominator. Feels like that is a style of four Vistages here. Almost like a Lycan style. The minion army running at you. However, he runs in a fade. Going for the regen rune. It will not work out. He's going to keep his familiars alive at least, but. Good protection from Thunder. Get the regen to Lena. either himself his, his levels aren't the greatest he's a whole level behind the omni knight and his farm's only 17 and 1 right now obviously again it goes back to p is getting pretty long here so the highest impact just yet oh one of the familiars gets killed on this micro that's about seconds before a new spawn up and in fact they get to stun in Laguna play nuke, and that should be an easy kill in the end, it is. Next, Nova's also gonna die coming in late, trying to help. Lena gets credit for the kill on him, too. FY, all they can do is just throw out the, the spirits and. Not much more. Yeah, that, that seems like a little bit of a misplay from Somnus. Also, with this late reaction to Sand King running in. Very good now. We have the boots yet. I just did that. Finish the space. Here we go. Is under attack. We won't be going to be expecting this. Nova getting picked Dyer's off over here. Is under attack. Lena and Thin King moving together. Did that happen. Thunderlord, he's just gonna have Firestorm and Dark Rift out. He's actually going back to base. I don't know if he expected them to dive in more or whatever, but. That other just in case. Visage. The summon familiar is ready again. Sitting with the one currently. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Bottom tier one, very likely to destroyed here. And the question is going to be answered. Phantom Dyer's Assassin, Salar. That battle fury queued up, already 1,500 gold saved. Right now is a free farming PA, so. This rate. Early on in this game. The armor cop here is gonna look like he wants to get the side gunner first. He's gonna go right into the axe. He's gonna put a hook in the middle lane also because they jump on him in the again. I was here though with the tether heel fade. Falling back. You see Laguna Blade already coming out. Ame felt that damage. Can I save him? Sankey goes down, committing for it. The new kill Ame, though. 
on the gyrocopter. So far, one for one, one benefiting Thunder. And look at the creep from Siler. Almost half life already of Tark Willa as he goes in right here. In the back line, still, F Fly and Somnus push them out. Yang, he stays alive for the time being. Lena, not so much, though. Yang's on the run still. Those are the purification. He'll up himself. F Fly trying to deal with Siler the best he can. Just simply trying to walk away. Fate comes in late after his resurrection with the Sun. Chalice barely stayed alive, but Sun will finish the job with a triple kill. Trying to get his attention now for more. Another heal from Yang to keep himself alive. Puts the repel up as he goes down, though. But a big crit again coming out. Ultra kill for Siler. It's Somnus, though, standing his ground with that uh, the Gravekeeper's cloak. And PA has to respect that. Backs off. So LGD numbers wise, not the worst for them. Io did buy back during that too. The fact that Phantom Assassin lived throughout. Now four on one. Continuing progress towards that battle fury. And he's just about to hit level 10. Kick in. My pension. Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. And Dark Willow is pretty good at having a fan of Seth, I believe. That Shadow Realm, too, right there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I have Underlord. His circles definitely continue. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Arcane Boots really on him so far. Trying to finish out of Defiance. This is one of those games, though, for an Underlord especially. Really could use both the Pipe and the Crimson Guard on. I deserve this. Be very valuable. And being behind an early farm, they'll turn. But yeah, back to the Gyrocopter button. Go on the Yags. This is a build we're seeing every now and then. It's not really go-to pill by any means, but... Occasionally. Tsunami. Liking the choice here. Try to get out some assist, some early damage. Finding that's happening, and needs to be careful though, as almost gets caught by a tanking in it. Balance three heroes, call it out on top of that. Nature J Thunder though, now running with the familiar stun zone. They get the kill on to Nature's Prophet. They locked in on him as well. Take him out. Lena's now caught him further. You see in the back lines, X Nova will finish the job with a Shadow Realm auto attack. Big fight for LGD there. In the three. They were not. They do not have Phantom Assassin really with them. He was busy in the middle lane farming. Trying to finish that battle fury again. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Yeah, Underlord is building a vanguard now, so he's gonna go hood, but he might actually just prioritize that vanguard first. As Ame gets picked up, bottom lane, FY got there late. He tried to relocate, and he tethers up the creep, continuing to run, but the pearl strike hits, and he goes down. Couple of kills going the way of Thunder. But we now have a Battle Fury online for Phantom Assassin. 14 minutes in. Phase Boots, Aquila, Battle Fury. Not too shabby. Pretty good. Has Omni Knight back up as well. Gonna go right into a Desolator. Top of that. But yeah, Underlord. It really comes down to the other side that the biggest threat right now is that Phantom Assassin, no doubt. So I think you have to, have to pick, oh, obviously you have to pick one. Go in the Crimson Guard first, and it makes more sense.
<laughs> See if TP's in. Oh, we got common the orbs, but catch him in time. They didn't have a sentry though. They are able to counter the orbs. Down as Yang bottom him. Like. Too comfortable here. It's Rebel. If I'm LGD, I'm not chasing this. <laughs> For all they know, TPs were coming in bottom lane. Worth going too much for Lineup, though. Again, they're not necessarily looking to pick some fights yet. At least more. I mean, it's 16 and 10 hero kills, so <laughs> there's been plenty of fighting going on. But of course, they, they would rather wait a bit. Phantom Assassin. Ideally, at least get that death later. Maybe also his level 15 talent is pretty key. Safely assume he's going to get the minus 4 armor. Again, repel. PP. Give us off really no. They see up. So he draws a lot of attention. PP out easily. The dire scans have been Roshan meanwhile, but can they even get here in time? I mean, it is happening so quickly. That medallion up. And yeah, the answer is no. They're, they're going to easily kill Roshan. Give the A just to PA, but B. Gonna have to make a play. He blinks away, but they're not gonna go in. I thought we might have seen Thunder look to make a play there, go in, but no. Instead, he just gets back in, so they successfully claim the Aegis. Smoked up here is Thunder. Get a catch now. Yang once again gonna try to be that bait. Checking out the area. Meanwhile, LGD trying to recover on farm and the gyro finish that axe on him, which is actually just about there. I do smoke up as five though. Can they catch? Oh, PA would, would be big. Radiant's Not gonna catch up to him though. He's attack. a little bit too fast. Meanwhile, bottom tower being beat down. I hear. Dark Rift coming in maybe with the relocate as well. They're gonna catch Nathan's profit. But Yang, he'll just easily walk away. So considering all of that, only to lose your Nature's Prophet, who's on the bottom of your net worth list, <laughs> to a full five-man rotation, I think you're fine. Yeah, up here again, Lena picking up more farm, who by the way, we've been so focused on PA. We're honestly even doing pretty good herself, it's just PA. Which is that much better in this game right now. But yeah, she has her Yule. She's gonna go no, flank next good. even. And then worrying about the Bloodstone after, but of course PA is the one that's dealing all the damage here. Majority of it right now. She could be more of the catch for the team. Set up set kills, but PA has this Desolator finish now. That with the minus four armor corruption, all of a sudden, this damage just got amped so much. In a top lane. That blink though. TP familiars? Not in time. And now bottom lane again. Team pushing in. Back Chalice. He's gonna be caught here as that Vanguard. <laughs> Remember what I said, Phantom Assassin's gonna be hitting hard. Yeah. 900 damage in one hit, no big deal. Bottom tower has fallen. One ghost, she should go down. Radiance this fan assassin. This, this is one of those feels good games if you're PA now. Especially. This here is so fun to play when you hit this early to start, especially. Sure, Sunlight's having a blast right now. LGD, not so much. They do have an Axel and Gyrocopter. Radiance top tower is under attack. So his damage output right now is all right. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Well, that's yet another tier two tower going down. So it's just the top tier two that's and tier four the dire side. 
over here. The familiar is just keeping action busy. Visage has the solar crest finish. But with that helm of the dominator, middle lane, VA, get around, gonna go in on a helicopter and see ya. No crits even needed, Jarocopter. Just takes a Laguna play to the face. Dies shortly after. So VGJ Thunder now just choking him out. They're gonna see them relocate here as well. Catch that fly, and you can just tell it's just it's all thunder here. LTD have just lost any kind of momentum they had in the after the first game of the series. And it's like clockwork now for VGJ Thunder. As far as the comeback potential, I mean, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. There's another big crit on Underlord. The Repel prevents the Terrorize on him. And now he's going to go for Somnus as well, because why not? Oh, the double stun. Well, maybe this is why. Silent in trouble. He is dropping. Guardian Angel will save for now. Remember, he has an age just to spite this. But they don't want to waste it. They keep him alive. So, not enough damage to actually take out Visage there in the end. That great Creeper's Cloak and everything else keeping him alive, but... Instead, they'll just turn their attention to that Tier 2 top and finish the job there. And you have to remind yourself that we are only 21 and a half minutes into this game. The Aegis is reclaimed. Look at that win probability. I can't believe it. Phantom Assassin. She doesn't have another item just yet. She's going to go BKB. Actually. Very safe route for Silar. Next. Against this dire team. You know, already having a repel. I'm figuring maybe something like a butterfly could. Time. Profit's pretty farmed too. This is a main support nature's profit is that solar crest in the nerf. Jungle. Yang has a pipe now as well as the Yules. Yeah, he is pretty, he's more farmed than anyone on the radiance. You, know, you also see they scan the base and they see the dire team just camping in their base. Io has to go a ghost scepter early on. He's looking for, excuse me, Fade is looking for somebody to catch. Look okay, at Somnus up here. The dagger forward. Here come the hits from Phantom Assassin. Not the most just yet. Somnus still alive. The tether up. Healing him for now. Silar, BKB, it is. Not going to be enough. He decides to fall back. So, yeah, they, they can't necessarily burst down the visage. That is the toughest target to take down, especially with the IO tether. The relocate helps to keep him alive. So, Silar, BKB use number one in the books. That will reset, farm some more, wait for another use of BKB, I'm sure. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Going out a little bit here. Careful. Drums. Bloodstone just finished on Lena, meanwhile. In a lane, who do they catch? Underlord, Underlord, we just... Can you think he's tanky? He is like, hold my beer. Of the Running it again. BKB's up in two seconds. They're gonna get Dial. No buyback on him. The Black Cannon auto attack with a side cutter. Rami doing what he can, but oh my god, X Nova gets three shots on the back line. Sidelar pops his BKB, the repel, wearing off right there. There goes the Guardian Angel. He goes back in on two minutes. As a result, in comes the epicenter. And that should all but do it here in favor of VGJ Thunder. Tommy is gonna fly back, but this is an easy rack skill middle lane. And it just really feels like it's a lost cause now for your LTD. This PA is just out of freaking control. And it really isn't just him. Yes, he's the highlight, of course, but again, having that Omni Knight support as well, the initiation tools across 
board for them. GG well played. BGJ Thunder takes game three in decisive fashion. And you know what? LG taking the first game after a back and forth battle. But Thunder.